Good day, students. Today, let us solve some problems related to interference of light by division of amplitude. So the first question is, a soap film is illuminated by white light incident at an angle 30 degrees. The reflected light is examined by a spectroscope in which the dark band corresponding to wavelength 6 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters is found. Calculate the smallest thickness of the film. Given mu is equal to 1.33. So the refractive index of the soap film is 1.33. Let us write down the given parameters. The refractive index of the soap film mu is given as 1.33. And light is incident upon it at an angle of incidence 30 degrees. Okay. Uh, the light is of wavelength 6 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters. Okay. Now, here we see a dark band. Here the condition for destructive interference can be made use and the, it can be written as condition for destructive interference as 2 mu p cos r is equal to n lambda. Okay. Now in this equation, we have the variable mu. Uh, we have to calculate t. r can be calculated from i. N is to be assumed and lambda is given. Okay, so first let us calculate the value of R. We get the value of R from Snell's law. Okay, so from Snell's law I have sine I by sine R is equal to mu. Okay, hence sine R can be written as sine I divided by mu. Now cos r can be written as square root of 1 minus sine square r. That is square root of 1 minus sine square i divided by mu square. So we can use this relation here instead of cos r. Okay. So this becomes 2 into 1.33 into t into square root of 1 minus sine square 30. So what is sine 30? 1 by 2. Sine square 30 is 1 by 4 uh, divided by mu square. That is 1.33 square. This is equal to n into 6 into 10 raised to minus 7. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the smallest thickness of the film. Okay, so on this uh, expression, on the left hand side, we have the value of t, and on the right hand side, we have the value of n. Okay, so t can have the least possible value when n is of the least value. Okay. If I give n is equal to 0, the thickness should tend to 0. Okay. So that does not have a physical significance. So we take the next smallest value that is n is equal to 1 and hence calculate t. Okay. So I can write t is equal to 1 into into 10 raised to minus 7 divided by 2 into 1.33 into square root of 1 minus 1 by 4 into 1.33 whole square. Okay. Now you can use the calculator to do the math. 
do it on your own. You can pause the video and do it on your own. Okay, so you will get 0 0.24 into 10 raised to minus 6 meters. That is, you can write 0 0.24 micrometers. So this is the smallest thickness of the film. It is of the micron range. So we learn that a thin film is defined as such when the film has a thickness of microns. Okay. Now in the next problem we have white light is incident on a soap film at an angle of sine inverse 4 by 5. And the reflected light on examination by a spectroscope shows dark bands. Two consecutive dark bands correspond to wavelength 6.1 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters and 6 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters. Now, if the refractive index mu of the film is 4 by 3, calculate its thickness. Let us write down the given parameters in this question. Here, I is given as sine inverse 4 by 5. That is, sine I is equal to 4 by 5. Now, we see a dark bands from two wavelengths. Okay, So, I can write lambda 1 is equal to 6.1 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters and lambda 2 is equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters. The refractive index of the soap film is given 4 by 3. Okay. So here we see two dark bands. So let us use the condition for destructive indifference for two wavelengths. So the first equation can be 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda 1. Okay. So, a film of refractive index mu and thickness t, uh, uh, light is falling at an angle of incidence r i upon it. Hence, r will also be same upon the film. So, when light is falling on uh, the film, it produces a destructive band that follows this condition. Okay. Now the second destructive band is due to the second wavelength. So again the condition becomes 2 mu t cos r is equal to. Here it is given in particular that we have two consecutive dark bands. Hence for the second wavelength I am going to write the consecutive dark band n plus 1 lambda by 2. Okay. Now, by comparing these two equations, I can see the left sides are equal. Hence, the right sides must be equal. That is, n lambda 1 is equal to n plus 1 lambda 2. That is, n lambda 2 plus lambda 2. Hence, I can write n is equal to lambda 2 divided by lambda 1 minus lambda 2. Let us substitute the values. Lambda 2 was taken as 6 divided by lambda 1 is 6.1 uh, minus 6. The powers are 10 raised to minus 7 here. Again, the powers here are 10 raised to minus 7. Okay, so the powers of 10 cancel out and we have 6 divided by 0 0.1 that is 6 into 10 that is. Now, when we have the value of n, we just need to substitute it in any one of the two equations to find t. So, using this value in the first equation, we get 2 into mu is 4 by 3 into t into we have cos r. So, instead of cos r, I am going to write square root of. 1 minus sine square i that is 
4 square by 5 square into 1.33 square. This is equal to n times, that is 60 into lambda 1, that is 6.1 into 10 raised to minus 7. So you have all the parameters. All you need to do is do the math. You can use the calculator and find the value for t. Thus, t can be obtained as 171.805 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters. That is, t is equal to 17.18 into 10 raised to minus 6 meters, that is 17.18 micrometers. Now, let us move into the next problem. Here we have a soap film of thickness 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeters and it is viewed at an angle 35 degrees to the normal. Find the wavelengths of light in the visible spectrum which will be absent from the reflected light. So if we are viewing a soap film, a few light, a few wavelengths may be absent. We have to find out which all are absent. Okay, now for that, here the given parameters are T is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeters. That is 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters. Angle of incidence I is given as 35 degrees and refractive index mu is equal to 1.33. Now for the wavelength uh, to be absent we have to use the condition for destructive interference, right? And it is given as 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda. Okay. So here mu is given, t is given, i is given, hence we will get the value of r. We need to find the value for lambdas. What our lambdas will be absent? So what we do here is we assign the values for n as 1, 2, 3, etc. and see whether these wavelengths fall in the visible spectrum. Okay, so the question asked is, what are the wavelengths of light in the visible spectrum that are absent? Okay, so first let us assign n is equal to 1. This implies that lambda is equal to 2 into mu is equal to 1.33 into t is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 into cos r that is square root of 1 minus sine square 35 divided by 1.33 square. Okay, so while doing the math, we get this value to be 1199.95 nanometers. Okay. Now in the second condition where n is equal to 2, I have n lambda is equal to 2 mu t cos r. Okay. So lambda can be written as, if, let this be lambda 1 and this be lambda 2. Lambda 2 will be 2 mu t cos r by here n is 2, hence 2 mu t cos r divided by n, that is 2 mu t cos r by 2. So I can write it as, this uh, numerator will be uh, lambda 1 itself, right? So I can write 1199.95 uh, nanometers divided by 2. And that is 599.98 nanometer. Okay. Now let's see the value of wavelength for n is equal to 3. We get lambda 3 is equal to 
1199.95 divided by 3 nanometers that is 399.98 nanometers you can use the calculators to calculate it so to do it you may pause the video and do the mathematics now when n is equal to 4 we have lambda 4 is equal to 1199.95 divided by 4 nanometers that is 299.98 nanometers now let us just stop here in all these wavelengths that we've calculated the wavelengths that fall under the visible spectrum are lambda 2 and lambda 3 Hence, we can give the answer that lambda 2 and lambda 3 will be absent from the reflected light. In the next question, we have a soap film of refractive index 1.33 and thickness 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 centimeters is illuminated by white light at an angle of 60 degrees. The light reflected by it is examined by a spectrometer in which is found a dark band corresponding to the wavelength of 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeters. Calculate the order of interference of the dark band. So if we say a dark band, we need to find its order. Okay. Now the given parameters are refractive index. First of all, mu is equal to 1.3. Then the thickness of the soap film is given 1.5 into 10 power minus 4 centimeters that is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 meters. Okay. I is given as 60 degrees. Then the wavelength of light is given lambda is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeters that is 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 meters. Okay. We have to calculate n. Okay. So in this dark band, we have the condition for destructive interference given as 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda. Okay. Now substituting the values here, n into lambda 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 is equal to 2 into mu 1.33 into t 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 into square root of 1 minus sine square i that is sine square 60 is root 3 by 2 so I get 3 by 4 divided by mu square that is 1.33 whole square now doing the math, we get n is equal to 6.05. So physically, n will have the value or n will have the order 6. You can work out more problems from the textbook for study and textbook of reference. Keep updated. And that's all for today. Thank you.